Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Boy 73 the small engine doctor's channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a blown up two cycle engine on a Toro snow thrower. Here's the blower, it was given to me, it's blown up. Got the cover partially off, I'll just take it off to show you. There's the engine. Now this engine here is a two cycle Briggs. It's the first time I see a two cycle Briggs motor, usually they're Tecumseh's. And here's the specs on the motor. Now the people already partially took it apart and as you can see the blocks cracked right down here. When you turn the flywheel it will only go so far and the piston in there doesn't even turn. It jams up. Now I think I know why this happened. When I look down here I can see that they tied up the throttle butterfly wide open with a little rope here. So probably what happened is people buy these little blowers they use it for much bigger tasks than what they're made for. And then what happens, they realize, well, there's not enough power. Either they'll tie up the throttle like that to get more RPMs, or just keep using it until it overheats and then blows up like that. So I'm just going to take the engine off for now. I'm going to remove the four bolts over here. I've never taken one off of these specific blowers, but I assume that that's all there is that's holding that motor on there. You'll have to remove this pulley first. Now your whole engine should come out. Now before I get the engine completely off, I'm going to have to remove the starter. The motor was jammed, so they kept trying to start it, and it stripped all the teeth. But the starter can be salvaged because you can replace this gear. Oh, here's the motor. It's all off. What I'm going to do now is remove all the bolts at the bottom here, separate the motor in half, and then get the connecting rod and everything out, and we'll see all the damage. Now that all the bolts are off, I'm just going to pry a flat screwdriver in here and separate the whole base. Now have a look inside the cylinder. That looks pretty bad. Look at all the parts there. There's the connecting rod, it's broken. All the roller bearings from the crankshaft where the connecting rod connects. There's the crankshaft. It still looks good. This bottom part here is good. So I'm going to take the head off to make it easier to get the piston out. The head actually separates on this motor. A lot of them, the head is fused to the cylinder, especially on chainsaws. And there's the piston there. I'm going to push it out. And there's that cylinder. It feels not too, too bad. But it's been beat up pretty bad. There's a hole through the crankcase. And there's the piston and rings. I'm surprised they're not scored more than that. Scored a bit on this side. I guess that was the exhaust port side. And the rings are intact. They're not jammed or anything. But the piston's badly damaged. There's the inside of the head. It's not too bad. So that's still good. So this is the part that would need to be replaced and the connecting rod, whole cylinder here. At this point I'm not even going to bother fixing that, it's not worth it. There's parts of the insert I guess that went over the crankshaft where the connecting rod hooked up, they're all broken. Man this really broke into a lot of pieces. So this motor shows the importance of not doing this. Do not tie up your throttle mechanism to make your motor go faster than it should be or else this is what's going to happen. If you've had the same experience happen to you, post your video as a video response to this one, and I'm sure everybody would like to see it. Take care, and we'll see you next time.